Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. More Mario Kart Madness. Hopefully my luck will hold up for, uh, a few more races. At least eight more, hopefully. I think Toad will be a good choice for this one here, because then I could do his crazy voice, and I love doing Toad's voice. So, here we go! The first race is going to be a DS track. Desert Hills, um, if... You know this track from the DS game, and you're a snaker? You know, the, the kinds of people that uh, get speed boost through power slides on straightaways? You probably don't like this track all that much, because what happens when you go off track is... Even slightly going off track, you'll lose your uh, snaking progress there, so... This probably gave a lot of time trialers frustration. Ah! back in the day with the DS game, and probably still going if people still time trial this game, and that even reduced my uh, speed boost down to nothing. Um, you can do little jumps off these hills, not, well not that one, but I mean that first one that I did a boost off of. Uh, that's really all there is to this track, just don't go off-road. Going off-road on this track, very, very punishing compared to other tracks, and that's really about it there. And we got some fire snakes jumping down from the heavens. I think they're created from the sun. Or that's where they seem to be shot out from. If you look in the sky, you got the angry sun from Mario 3. Like, did you see that? Did you see that right there? The sun shook, and I seen a fireball come down from it, and there it was. The fire snake was right up in my grill. And us toads don't like that. Right, toad? Right! So, what the heck happened to that Pokey? <laughs> it just got demolished. Poor Pokey. I felt sorry for it. It got dismembered into its four segments. But, it, there's a good chance it'll just live on as four separate segments as shown in other Mario games. So, I guess, in turn, some good came out of it because... Ah! Uh, because some would think that it's lonely being alone in four segments, you know, in four pieces all on one body, but separated in four pieces, it's got three other friends, you know, for each head. <laughs> so, yeah, just, well, just a little thought I had there. I don't know what the heck kind of story I'm making up here, but it's a story, I suppose. Come on, Toad, we have to win this, and the Pokey once again got demolished, but this time they got put, whoa, got put back together there. So I guess they don't want to stay as four separate entities, they want to be as one. I don't know, maybe that's how they breed or something like that. And I'm getting kind of, uh... Oh, no, no, not the fire stake at the last second, no! No, no, no! I had that race, too. Oh, so sad. Oh, well. Next race! Here we go. I forgot what the next one is already. Ah, the Bowser Castle 3. This one has a lot of opportunities for boosts. You gotta kind of know where they're coming ahead of time. You can usually learn where they are on the first lap if you're playing this track blind. But otherwise, you're not gonna know where they are on the first lap. You're gonna be like, oh man, all these characters are, are getting ahead of me and I'm getting all frustrated. And yeah, you get the idea. Like there's a boost around this upcoming corner here. Wait, actually, not this one. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the... I'm thinking of the DS track, pardon me. Never mind what I thought there, and the... Wow. <laughs> this is going horrendously. Hopefully I'll be able to catch up on this track. I'm not sure how well I'll be able to, because of the fact that this track is kind of short. Yeah, you get the idea. Don't touch that uh, off-road rocky area square thing there. Just just saying there, and I did a bad job of staying in between those thwomps on the jump. This is a disaster race, and I would really like that mushroom if I could have got it, but I even failed at getting that. For shame, and I'm even nicking my face into the wall. Wow. <laughs> there must be some way for me to catch up out of 12th place. I mean, jeez. Look how far behind I, I'm away from even the 11th place person, Wario, there. Uh, come on, good item, good item, big, big money, big money, big money, big money, triple mushroom, that is not big money. <laughs> In fact, that won't help me all that much whatsoever. Uh, anyway, I 
I'd actually like to switch items, but I, but I didn't really have an opportunity to use that mushroom anywhere else, so I couldn't grab another set of items there, or item there. Uh, item, item, item! Oh, it jumped right back into the lava. Those item block boxes are like poto boos in a way. What a shame. Come on, good stuff. No, not a super mushroom. I want something like a bullet bill or a lightning bolt or something, but I guess... Uh, I guess that was going decently until I plopped myself into the lava there. <sighs> 11th place again. Uh, I was able to overtake King Boo there. Triple Mushroom again, kind of useless. Where is all the good items? Why is the item roulette not working in my favor? I don't know! Neither do I, Toad. Neither do I. And what hit the heck hit? Oh, superstar person there. Come on. This is getting annoying, very, very annoying. And pff, took that corner a little bit too tightly, but that was my own fault there. Boink! Boink! And pff, Boo attack at the right place. And there goes my mushroom there, because I couldn't use it in my boost on those jumps there. Otherwise, it would offset the timing and possibly put me in the lava. And that's not a risk I would be willing to take. Star power! Go, 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 go! I believe in you, Star! Perhaps I'll be able to get first place after all. Probably not, actually. Pro wait, wait, maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. I can do this. I can do this. Go, 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 go. Well, no. Third place. Well, I guess that's not bad. That's quite a good recovery, I have to say. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I couldn't overtake baby Daisy there. Too bad. Her ducky car is just far too fast for me, I guess. That's not too bad, the places are pretty close. If I get first place on the next two races, I'll be able to guarantee my first place victory. Well, if there's any such guarantees in Mario Kart Wii. <laughs> anyway, we got the Nintendo 64 Donkey Kong uh, Jungle Parkway here. Uh, this was a pretty fun track back in the day because of the ginormous jump as well as the very tight and very bendable, not bendable. <laughs> Very, very, very tight corners, just tight track in general, very fun in general too. Prepare yourself to turn to left directly after this jump, otherwise you're going to start swinging into the trees and yeah, you get the idea. But those arrow signs will tell you ahead of time um, where you're going to have to turn anyway. And I think if you go off-road, you'll get bombarded by coconuts. Uh, unless that was just the N64 version, I, I don't remember if it was in the Wii version. It probably is, since this is a general recreation of the track itself. And tight bridge, tight bridge. This is a great place to hit people with items and shells and stuff like that. Yeah! Um, in the N64 version, the best way to get, um, to get through that cave area is just to go right up the hill, but it seems like it's a lot harder to do it on the Wii version, to do it like to save time. So I think in the Wii version they kind of fixed it in a way, so you have to do it the proper way. You know, the way that the game, game designers intended you to do it. So that's another neat little touch there, is to kind of rebalance the track in a way. Uh, if you had a mushroom, you would go right up that uh, hill in the cave area, of course. But, you know, mushrooms kind of break. Uh, oh, I guess there's no coconuts. <laughs> we have found out the mysteries. So yeah, it was only the N64 version that had the coconuts that got shot at you from off screen, which is kind of a shame, because that, that was like an extra punishment for going off track. That actually worked out surprisingly well, besides that fake item box that electrocuted me. But uh, yeah, oh shoot, this is what I mean that you can't really go too far off uh, road there and it'll slow you down in the cave. Oh well. Well, final lap. All the players are pretty close together in this race. It's a pretty heated race, I have to say, so anyone could win this, and it's probably not going to be me, knowing me. <laughs> and I should really be power sliding, but I can't get any sort of angle to get my power slide going after taking that hit, so... <sighs> Come on, Toad. You can do this. I believe in you. Go, 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 go. You're mushrooms because you're a mushroom. Maybe they'll give you extra boosting power. I don't know. Probably not. And I probably should have used my extra mushroom there to see if I could have uh, gotten a better item of or some something, some sorts. I don't know. Come on, baby. Just hold your lead. Oh, no, 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 not the border. Not the borders. 
I should say fences. Oh, fences are a border, so no, 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 not the red shell of death. Why the red shell of death? Can I get... Oh, no, 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 it looks like I'm not going to make it to first place all, uh, this race <clears throat> in the rest of tracks. Oh well, I don't expect to get the first place in the Grand Prix every single time anyway. So, here we go, final track. Let's do this. And I kind of forgot to do my speed boost thing either. <laughs> but I guess it's okay. This track is... I was going to say pretty easy. <laughs> Not when you run yourself with fake item boxes. I'm just gonna take myself a little shortcut here through the grass. As long as I got a giant mushroom here, it kind of ruins my. Like, I mean, it's not as responsive in the control department, but eh, still pretty good. Especially when you can cut through things. And uh, I believe this music is ported directly from the uh, GameCube version. So this is a pretty nice uh, music as well. You don't have to really modify it at all. This, this music was already catchy to begin with, and awesome saws, and this, uh, this track is also quite good for Mario Kart Wii, may I add, because of the fact that there's a lot of bumpy jumps all over the place to give you those speed boosts whenever you shake the beamer bolt, and, uh, oh, I just passed off my... Who gave me the Thunder Club back there? Can I pass on the Bowser? Can I pass it on to... Yeah, baby! Take your Thunderbolt like a man! <laughs> That was about as good as I possibly could have done that Thunderbolt Cloud thingy. Whatever you want to call it. Anyway! Like these bumps right here, great for a little speed boost across the prairie here. If this is some sort of prairie, it's more like a park actually. And no, 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 I refuse to take second place in this race. I would like. <laughs> I would like to do well for once compared to how I did on the. Uh, Newer tracks, you know, the Mario Kart Wii tracks, not the retro tracks. Chain chop, chain chop, chain chop! <laughs> I was wondering if I took that corner a little bit too tight, but it worked out in the end. And Blooper is gonna attack me, but that's not gonna do anything, as is the Blooper way. Well, they're quite dangerous in uh, Mario side scroller games, also. What am I saying here? And if you could ever get too close to those prana plants in pipes there, they will lash out at you and bite you, and you don't want that, that's for certain. And I think this is going to be a successful race. Oh, no, 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 All right. It was almost the demolishing end there. Did you see that? Red shell, then blue shell. It's almost as if they were setting me up for loss. And... Oh! Oh, I missed. <laughs> One point away from a tie for first place. But, eh, what can you do? What's all screen is that PK Gam came in third, but, well, it's kind of a second place, though, because, as you see, the first and second are tied, so they're, like, tied for first. I don't know how that works, man. I don't know how that works. Maybe they do, like, total time or something like that on all the tracks. I don't know. Toodaloo. Hope you enjoyed.